All right, it's going to be that season. Everyone's getting their sprinkler system up and running. If you're like me, you get a lot of dirt and debris in your uh, system. Cause your sprinkler heads to kind of clog up. Let me show you a little trick that I did. A little tip that will help you out. All right, this first box right here. This is my incoming uh, valve for my water. Uh, right here, I got my first pink valve. That's my inlet. Comes through a filter. I got a valve with a little uh, nipple on the end of it. And then it goes back in and out that way to my system. So this filter traps all the dirt and debris coming from the city on a reclaimed water and allows clean water to come out through my sprinklers, preventing them from getting clogged up. All right, when you take the cover off, you'll see the filter just sitting in there. It will come off and the rest of your water system will drain out. I don't know if you can see that. You see how dirty that is? We're gonna take this in, clean it up, put it back in and our sprinkler system will be working as designed. All right, when you go to take off your filter, like I said, all the water is gonna back, uh, drain backwards from your sprinkler and fill up your hole. So I got the filter pulled, up, pulled out, put this back on to prevent most of the water from draining out. If I was to do it again, I'd put a valve between the filter and my sprinkler system. That way I can turn that off, take my time to clean out all the debris from this. But anyways, we'll show you here in a, a minute. This little nipple right here, I attach a hose to it. So I can pull that hose out, open up that valve, shoot water across the street and check my city pressure. Make sure that's not an issue before I go forth and further troubleshoot my system. All right, just like that, it's clean. We're gonna go put this back in and turn on the system. After installing the filter, you can put on your hose, turn your main cutoff valve back on, turn on this valve. Now you can see how much city water pressure I have. You can see coming right through there, you can hear it. All right, after it's cleaned up, you turn your sprinklers on. Let's see, got one, two, three sprinklers. I got two over there in the front. And one, two, three, four over here, working just dandy. So guys, add a filter to your system. Add a filter to your system. It'll save you a lot of troubleshooting. A lot of troubleshooting. You got your main cutoff coming into your filter. You got a hose to test the city pressure. And the only thing I would recommend doing is putting a cutoff valve between the filter and your sprinklers. So when you take your filters off, your whole system doesn't uh, back drain into uh, your sprinkler hole. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Hopefully this helps you. Have a good day.